Well, hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to the Escape Room Show. My name is Natasha Jovi and today I'm very excited. We have the highly talented Tom Parson with us. Um, this background, the CV is impressive. So I think the best person <laughs> to tell you more about himself is Tom himself. Hello Tom, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing? Hi Natasha. Oh, thank you so much for having me on the show. Uh, Hi, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Tom. As I said, you, your CV is impressive. Your knowledge is impressive. So you'll be the best person to tell us a bit more about yourself if you'd be so kind. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So, so my name's Tom. Um, I've uh, been working in the escape room industry for um, maybe the last three or four years. Um, uh, as a uh, an owner of a sort of company called Buzzshot, making making software. Uh, so, uh, so I've made this software called Buzzshot for escape rooms that does us check in, um, team photos and follow ups. Um, and now uh, during during lockdown, I've also been running a website uh, called LiveVideoEscapeRooms.com uh, to help all the people who have been uh, running sort of virtual versions of their escape rooms uh, while during lockdown during the coronavirus uh, as a sort of way of keeping their businesses going. And then my very latest thing is uh, I also have software called Telescape Live, which is for those type of those type of escape rooms. So it's obviously an advanced um, inventory system. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Tom. And that's actually how we met because I used to do, uh, we used to do all escape room in museums, so live. <laughs> and then suddenly because of the virus, we had to move to the virtual world. And that's where you discover your wonderful website. And I've got some great feedback from your website. So thank you so much for doing this. It's been absolutely awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's very kind of you to say. <laughs> oh, it's my pleasure, Tom. <laughs> Tom, would you be so kind to let us know how you become interested in escape rooms um yeah so um i i played a few um uh sort of way back then um and but you know was, wasn't particularly interested in being in the industry this just seemed like a fun thing um then uh, a friend of mine uh in brighton where i'm from uh, started an escape room um and uh, he actually hired my retired dad as a games master <laughs> um <laughs> So, so suddenly, yeah, I started hearing lots about escape rooms, um, and uh, and particularly, my dad was whatever whatever I saw him was was saying like, oh, we're we're doing these bits by hand. Like, why isn't there software to do this? Why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, um, I sort of yeah got in, into it by just sort of seeing that there was there was this there were these things that that uh, were being done currently mostly by hand, taking lots of time. I thought I could do it better. Started made, made software. Talked, spoke to the guys running the room, and uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that's sort of how it started. It started off just as a, as a as a side gig. So you know, I was a freelance developer, and this was all. It was only ever meant to be a little like thing I do on the side, but fairly quickly it moved into being uh, something that I was taking up most of my time, and then all of my time, <laughs> uh, and became like and became my full time thing. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. What do you think, Tom, in general, that why do you think escape room are so popular? What do you think is such a big thing? Um, I think it's just really nice to uh to play with physical puzzles and things. It's nice to um to sort of to, to, to get out there and play things that are play games that aren't just video games. Um which is this is strange because I think that the uh, the new uh, sort of live video ones we're seeing, um, where pe people are doing it remotely, are really working as well. Which uh, which is weird because I you know I thought that the appeal was all to do with being physically there and the tactileness of the puzzles, but they but I, I guess it's it's more the kind of it's maybe the combination of um, of puzzles that kind of engage your mind a bit, but also with a bit of story and a bit and cool uh, and the, the whole cool environments that you're in. Just, yeah, giving you kind of an immersive experience that's, you yeah, know, you can do with your friends. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, thank you. Um, and I mean, Escape Room has taught me so many things. I think it's such an amazing thing. It's just, it goes way beyond just playing. What, what do you think are the most valuable thing that Escape Room taught you about yourself, about the world? What, what are the things that... Uh... Um, I, I, I think they're fantastic for, for learning how to, to better uh, work with other people. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's... Um, I, I definitely found that, you know, I, um, 
I think I've I think I've learned to be better at um, at kind of uh, letting other people have have a say, <laughs> um, <laughs> taking other people's th- th- looking at what other people are doing. You know, just not not just charging ahead and just trying to do everything myself, which I think would be my natural uh, inclination. <laughs> um, <laughs> So you think that you change, you become more like a, a team player, maybe through escape rooms that really helped you? Yeah, I think I've got a way to go, but, uh, but I, th- I think they help. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, for me, it's been the same thing. I think you really taught me about, uh, I mean, problem solving skills. For me, that was mm. really the big one. It was, it's just amazing. It literally transport you to a different world, you know, mm. where you are just not you, you're just someone else and you can be anyone you want to be and you can do anything. It's a safe environment where you can really mm. explore the beauty of the world. And I think it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> and yeah. um, what, have you done anything about the world? anything that really helped you to see things differently through escape room style or? um oh yeah so i'm trying, trying to think of um just trying to think of what, what would be a good answer to that <laughs> um, sorry for the put you on the spot <laughs> no, that's, there. That's, that's all right no i i i, I, sh- I should have been more prepared here oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um but but yeah i um i, I think um also for me they're just they're just a a lovely thing to do with friends so it's yes. um you know it can get very easy with with friends to you know if you just go to the pub you know you sit you drink and you yeah. and you chat mm-hmm. and, and that's nice but um but you know it can get a bit stale um you know and you, you know, you've, all, you've all chatted about the same things a lot of times before <laughs> um and i think it's nice to have things that you can do that are that are just different and will will challenge you in different ways and it's just it's you know you you get you get to know people in in different ways once yeah. once you start playing games with them that's and I, I think that's really nice as well yeah that's true yeah for me it was because i was a, i mean i'm still a tour director uh, in museums you know and we were just going around and you know as a tour director you see the same artifacts the same thing day in day out and then suddenly by turning those tools into escape rooms i it gave me the opportunity to really be able to interact with the artifact with the museum mm. with the art history with history in general in a completely different way so I, escape rooms really helped me to see the world in a completely different light and I find it really exciting just just like you right. uh, do you have any funny anecdotes any funny stories that things that happen in this or you heard anything funny um oh I'm trying to think I mean um there's uh there's this the story I've, I've heard which is not my story but uh, it's a story <laughs> I've, I've heard I've heard a few times and I and I wonder, I wonder now how uh, how apocryphal it is but um the uh there's the uh story of um of, of people usually guys uh going, going to escape rooms um uh, you know ahead of time maybe like uh like you know the week before uh going through the room learning all the puzzles then oh. then, then taking their dates uh the, <laughs> the next week which i um I just uh, I think is it's quite a it's quite hilarious uh, quite a quite a testament to uh the um the, I guess the fragility of, of, of some people who, uh, <laughs> who, who who need who need to uh, <laughs> need, need to make sure that they're absolutely right all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny how escape room actually changed people. With mm. me, it was with children, so they come to the museum and they're really upset. I don't want to be there. Mm. I want to go to Har- You know, I want to go to Hamleys and to the toy shop. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then suddenly they turn into very angry kids to leaders you know they take over mm. they walk in front of you they actually create <laughs> clues and create different <laughs> it's such a, it was amazing thousands and thousands of story <laughs> oh that's lovely <laughs> <laughs> and, and Tom, what do you think is the future for escape room how do you think the industry or the movement is going to develop um yeah I, that's that's a really good question i um i think that we're we're definitely seeing uh, rooms getting more elaborate uh more uh more involved uh you know the amount of money being spent on them is definitely going up um and you know you're, you're seeing you know amazing set design uh you know creating these amazing environments and also just more more immersive experiences so um you know i think that you know escape rooms that make use of you know of actors in certain parts can, can just be really 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 cool and i i think that that's definitely somewhere that, that i think that i think the, the industry will, will go towards or is going towards um 
and yeah, and and you know other sort of like other, other formats, you know, like 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 kind of the time run games where you're moving between rooms, uh, or you know, they, they their latest one I think is the uh, the game is now, um, yeah, that, the, those those kind of games which you know are just sort of bigger in scale and um, which yeah, I, I think I think we'll probably see more and more of those. Although you know, I just still very much have a place in my heart for the uh, for the little escape rooms where it's just one room and it's uh, you know mostly mostly pretty homemade, but just charming and fun and uh, a nice thing to do. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful! Thank you. 